Hi everyone and welcome. I'm excited to be presenting here at the Embedded Linux conference uh, uh, virtually. Today I will show you a project that will help IoT companies and developers to make their solution more sustainable, open, secure and in, a, in, in, in less time. So uh, I'll go through the main problems that IoT is currently facing, how device maker companies can drive the change and how developers will benefit from it. So. First of all, let me uh, introduce myself. I'm at Recimenti. I'm a software engineer uh, at SECO, a global industrial IoT company and device maker. I'm working in the field uh, for more than five years and I'm currently managing the SECO hardware enablement for uh, the Onero project. So let's begin. And uh, uh, in the last years, we are witnessing a large and exponential growth of IoT devices on the market, much higher than uh, consumer electronics, such as uh, smartphones uh, or uh, PC. The, uh, many companies are building, uh, are building smart solutions, adding connectivity, artificial intelligence, data telemetry, cloud services, and analytics to their IoT products. Thanks to existing technology that we know well, such as, an open, source, uh, as uh, open source resources, like uh, operating systems, uh, libraries, uh, uh, frameworks, uh, just to name a few, development got a huge boost uh, and uh, this is one one why is one of the reasons why this is happening but all of this is raising a, a problem for both the customer experience and the management of such as a uh, fragmented ecosystem so um why uh, fragmentation is bad in iot and we should uh, avoid it Many devices are difficult to actively support from, from a device maker uh, perspective. Often their uh, devices are provided with a closed code base and doomed to a fast obsolescence. Another aspect is even if they are built over open source tools and technology, the resulting device will likely not cooperate with different vendor products due to lack to, of um, open standards. The rise of fragmentation in IoT is not sustainable, reduces the customer experience, services are totally uh, cloud-based, even if the devices are in the same room, and devices are totally dependent on the vendor uh, in, in terms of security. To counter all of this, uh, the Onir project was born a community open source project aiming to simplify and help developers to create secure, interoperable and long-lasting IoT solutions. The project was launched in October 2021 from a community of companies under, under the com governance of the Eclipse Foundation, enforcing the vendor neutrality among the, the companies. So where are the main principles behind uh, the, um, the Onero project? The main idea is to have uh, a common and open base for the development of the IoT solutions for big and small IoT devices. We don't want to reinvent the wheel every time. It would be a waste to ignore existing technologies that are the standard and have a wide community. Open standards and interoperability protocols are the key to avoid uh, technology silos and we should use it uh, in, a, in a project. So, Linux-based architectures are very common nowadays and many developers are used to the Yocto project and the Bitbay build system for, uh, for Embedded. 
So we decided to adopt it for uh, the main core building system as it provides an excellent platform for developing a very customizable cross-kernel uh, operating system. Exploiting the Big Bait uh, system, it makes the build process easy to compile and target different architectures such as uh, single board computers and microcontrollers using different kernels like Linux or Zephyr. We can control this behavior uh, using, using a custom uh, layer provided by the, the Onero com project. So we have uh, the meta Onero layer for a root layer. So um, the, the, main, uh, the main components uh, are, are provided uh, by this layer. We use meta open embedded from upstream. So main uh, main features uh, will come with uh, from from a stable stable version we use uh, clang as a uh, our main uh, uh, tool chain for compiling the, uh, the project we have uh, uh, some mm, kernel layers that mm, help us to 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 compile a kernel for different architectures we have a, a meta open harmony that that is a um, compatibility um, layer for uh, for uh, for interoperability protocols and BSP layers like uh, meta seco meta st meta intel for our uh, reference hardware so layers are fetched with the uh, repo tools through a manifest and depending uh, on the initial configuration you will compose the image to be compiled in, we, we already provide some uh, uh, basic image to, to be compiled for, uh, for our reference uh, board, but everything can be expanded and uh, um, many contribution can be uh, composed for, for making any, any, any type of image that uh, your, your project uh, requires. Here uh, are the architecture layers that uh, Yo uh, that uh, Onero provides. Um, inside uh, the root layer Meta Onero, we can find uh, uh, several layers that provides uh, different uh, different um, uh, functions. For example, uh, from bottom to top, we have uh, the kernel layer that is responsible of the kernel selection and build. So it's possible to select a different kernel uh, depending if we are targeting a single board computer or a microcontroller. And uh, we have the system uh, services layer that will provide a complete set of capabilities essential to Onero to offer services for application like OTA support, communication, discovery, device management, everything that we need uh, for uh, an IoT project. Then we have the framework layer that will provide uh, an SDK to develop uh, on your application in multiple languages, depending on the target device class and its uh, hardware um, constraints. As an example, we have uh, um, graphical uh, frameworks uh, that uh, the, the user can exploit for making their own uh, um, for their own product, for example. Lastly, we have the app layer that Onero apps will be able to use API to expose a business logic as ability that may have, uh, for example, inside other application like uh, uh, artificial intelligence or speech recognition. One of the main feature is a distributed agent that connects uh, all the appliances uh, running on, on Eero. In this way, the, the, they are able to communicate with each other, exposing capabilities and offer new interaction to the user without using the cloud. So the, um, the user application can exploit the, the resources uh, among all the devices uh, running on Eero to make new, new interaction uh, that will uh, uh, enhance the user experience. 
course, we have also uh, some connectivity protocols that uh, the, the user can exploit. So, for example, uh, we have uh, some um, protocol agnostic uh, um, um, libraries that can use uh, Co-op, uh, MQTT, uh, OpenThread. We have uh, uh, some uh, of uh, of the some examples that are uh, available for um, for hacking and starting uh, new projects, for example. And um, but Onero is not just uh, uh, layers, uh, Yocto layers, and uh, and and libraries. We have a, a whole uh, um, infrastructure that we provide to to companies and users. The Onero project have an, an infrastructure that checks IP compliance, provide documentation a testing environment with the uh, uh, reference platforms. All the infrastructure is, made, is based on uh, GitLab runners that triggers test builds, Lava Worker, and IP compliance. Lava is a, a test environment that we use uh, for uh, test uh, real uh, hardware. And uh, the Lava workers are triggered to ensure that every device still boots and passes all the tests after every merge request. There are several labs, uh, and each of them hosts uh, many uh, reference boards to avoid regression that could uh, affect stability. This uh, makes the, the project uh, always uh, um, production ready and uh, ensure that project that are built with it uh, still passes all, all the tests. We have also an IP and POS uh, compliance tests that are based on the open chain uh, specification. Uh, it is crucial uh, for this type of project uh, to enforce openness uh, and that the project is usable by anyone. So we follow strict IP standards uh, like also SPDX, uh, reuse, uh, and uh, Debian license check. Summarizing, the open source software core is maintained and kept up to date uh, with stable components from Yocto, BSP layers, tool chains, call libraries, and Onero frameworks. All of these are supported and backed by the processes developed by the Onero community like uh, CI/CD, testing, documentation, maintenance, uh, IP compliance, OTA, and uh, security. Uh, then on top, we have default configurations that help you kickstart your project with out-of-the-box uh, configurations, OS management, and hardened security. And finally, your application on top. Onero helps developers and companies by focusing on the application rather than on building and maintaining the whole system. To start with, uh, Onero is giving some defaults that user can pick up to rapidly build real applications, but every piece is customizable and replaceable with, uh, by design with your preferred uh, choice. As an example, we are using Rauk as the OTA engine, but the wrapper and the APIs around it are flexible and can support also other engines. As per uh, real hardware, Seco is a partner and uh, a device supplier and introduced uh, three reference industrial uh, hard uh, hardware platforms so far. We have the Seco Albin, that is uh, an NUC Intel Atom that have uh, industrial uh, uh, peripherals and uh, connections. We have uh, um, an NXP uh, single board computer that has a uh, uh, dual Ethernet, uh, we have uh, uh, an heterogeneous uh, um, processor, they have uh, 
both uh, microcontroller and uh, an application uh, processor. And then we have a cost-effective uh, uh, board that has uh, uh, um, uh, an ARM Cortex uh, A35 and uh, an STM32. Uh, together, of course, uh, they are together with uh, uh, common prototyping boards uh, like uh, Raspberry Pi and Arduino, and uh, virtual targets that help uh, developers to 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 test their their, their application uh, uh, on. They ha this help uh, to to test core fe core features uh, to real hardware via CI/CD, enabling uh, security features. Uh, in and trying out uh, real uh, real case applications for uh, for customers. Reference hardware also help uh, uh, helps build uh, what we call the blueprints, MVPs or better uh, reference design for real case applications that showcase one or more features uh, of the Onero platform. In this way, it is easier for the developer to know how to implement a certain feature or for companies to pitch ideas for a real use case. As an example, we have a vending machine blueprint that provides support for building a proof of concept smart vending machine, showing the capabilities of the Onir project. For example, we used uh, the the Intel uh, board uh, with a, with a, um, uh, uh, and that expose uh, capabilities uh, like a, a video, like an HMI screen, uh, and a selection uh, matrix uh, built with uh, LEDs. So, uh, what is the added value? Of uh, of Nero here, so you you get to to have a co investment among other uh, uh, partners uh, that, that that are around uh, the Nero project, and you get the shared uh, pool of expertise and know how. Is a global ecosystem uh, rooted uh, in uh, in Europe, and uh, you you get to code, develop, and deploy your your applications. It's you, you get a unified set of configs, API, and protocols that are uh, na natively for, built for, uh, for IoT. And you get a shared go-to-market strategy uh, for building your, uh, your application. Uh, the project is already out of the staging process, and you can start to look inside uh, the first features. So you can download uh, the the project, uh, start using uh, uh, from from the the, the, ba the base images to on the on the reference uh, hardware or um, to the virtual uh, uh, virtual machines. You can try try it out and hack the the blueprints that are uh, already already available. You can read the documentation and uh, hopefully you can contribute uh, into the community we are available also in uh, irc or you can chat with uh, with the developers and uh, thank you for your time and i uh, hope you join the community i will be available for uh, for comments uh, and uh, and questions after after the the, um, the presentation and um, uh, there is a booth uh, in uh, in the Linux conference uh, if you want to 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 chat with uh, with other developers uh, and uh, members of the Onir project. Thank you again for your time.